fish guy. I think that's how we're going to start this video. Up here at the shower house. Waiting to use the bathroom. Didn't have the camera out yesterday. It was raining. If you watch me. We're up here in Fall Lake. I'll show you some of the water. I definitely would say the water is up this year. <laughs> A couple of campsites were by. Couldn't even use them. But anyway. Fish guy checking in. This is an actual campsite. See the water's up this year. Dated this one uh, back in the fall, a couple years back. You can see the fire grate behind that boat there. I got the picnic table all the way up to the woods there. One of the nicer campsites. <laughs> Couldn't even use it. He's up here on the driveway, I guess. Anyway, we're gonna get out there. Quick cup of coffee, I think, here. I brought along these. It's a Racine thing called a Kringle. Really good. Kind of a Danish thing. Anyway. Yeah, check back in with you later. You know what I always say, man. I'm the fish guy. Hi, right, fish guy. I'm on my spot. Way too fast to fish. Kind of back trolling into it. And motor jumped out of the water and boy, oh boy, I had to go forward and get things going. Uh, so I don't think we'll be fishing this spot this year. Uh, anyway, we're out here trying. We're out here trying. It's uh, May 19th, 2022. I'm the fish guy. You know what I always say. Peace. We made it this guy. Oh, that's a nice guy. Better go over the picture around recording. This guy checking in. It's about two o'clock, just finishing up with our brunch. Lunch. We've gotten a few ones. A couple of nice fish. This high water, boy, they're tight to shore. But we got a couple guys doing some camp chores. A little fire going. One guy ran to town and kept more minnows. A couple of them escaped and a couple guys used up all their minnows. <laughs> the morning fish, a couple dozen each. So, each boat. One boat, I think, one guy got seven, the other guy, I believe, had zero. Six. Our boat had three. Three on the stringer. A lot of little ones, which is usually what I find on this lake we're staying on. Anyway, just a short one. Until next time, I'm the fish guy. Peace. Alright folks, they're not jumping in the boat, but hey, we got some action. Need a hemostat? Oh, you got one ready. Right there. We got a couple nice little ones. Anyway, take a couple quick pictures and uh, get back to fishing here. I'm the fish guy. Hey. This guy checking in, it's pretty early. Early, considering we stayed up last night. Yeah, a real nice fire. We had a good day fishing yesterday. One guy really tore it up. He caught the majority of the fish. Uh, he's the leader on our board, I believe at 19 inches. And Oh, by the way, it's day two morning. Wonder what happened to those guys. Anyway, we got a number one on the menu. You don't know what a number one is. In my opinion, every good restaurant menu for breakfast, a number one 
is two eggs, meat, potatoes. We're probably not going to have toast, but. And we're going to do an outpost today. We, I was surprised when she said there's no permits available for Friday. I don't know. There's quite a few of them on this lake we're on. But I don't know. Apparently there's none available. So. We're going to take our time getting going here. We start chopping some potatoes. That's to take the longest. So. Uh, other than that, I don't know. We'll see what the day brings, and yeah, I am sure I'll be checking in with you throughout the day. And until then, I'm the fish guy. Deuces. Okay, checking in. Kind of a strange day. We outposted from the lake we're staying on, and uh, I got one little, 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 probably seven, eight inches if even. But hey, I'm on the board. I got a walleye. And uh, at this issue with my trolling motor, this blades keep spinning off or some darn thing. So we're in Ely here. There's a Real good. Ask my friend, it's Joe's, right? Joe's motor? He's not listening to me. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's Joe's motor. Just smoozing with the counter gal and telling her that I'm not a mechanic, I'm a forklift driver. She goes, You want a job? I'm like, Sure. <laughs> she was offering me a job. What would I be doing? Anyway, they hooked us up. We got a drawing motor, we got a real nice chop. Probably not going to have the camera on too much. Concentrate on fishing. Everybody's lines are going under the boat right now, so I should be actually changing the, the boat. And here I am talking. Ah, yeah. Tried to add an air time to my phone. That didn't work. I don't like cell phones. I'll be the first to tell you that. I'm up here fishing, and I'm worried about adding air time so I can call my wife, who's... She's, you know, she's having a hard time. Need to find some things to do on her own and be more independent so I can do these things. Because I tell you, as I get older and I retire, I'm going to start doing this more if I'm physically able. I suppose that's about it for now. You know what I always say, guys. I'm the fish guy. Deuces. Me. Well, I'll take a quick movie and then I'll get out of the way. Well, I think we got a few fish today. You hear the sarcasm behind me? They're all pretty happy. Hey, I got a couple of them. What a good day that was. Holy cow. You know what I always say? I'm the fish guy. Peace. Holy cow, that was Fish guy, might be the last update out here on the water, wrapping her up, probably pushing about 6 o'clock, didn't wear a watch, don't have a cell phone, don't care, that's why I came here, get away from some of that kind of stuff. Anyway, we've got a few fish left to catch, one of our buddies already left, so there's only four of us left. Last meal is chicken fajitas. We're gonna get that going with some appetizers of a couple different varieties. Kind of get things organized and ready to get the heck out of here. And eh, let's not get caught on a snag. Thought I was not on the bottom. My rod was bending there pretty bad. Anyway, 
I might do something back at camp, but been a great season. Thanks for watching, whoever you are. I know some people watch these boundary water videos. Keep doing it. It's fun to watch everybody. Anyway, until next time, I'm the fish guy. Peace. give you an example of how high the water is this year. This is a boathouse down by the water. Probably gonna have a little repair on that boathouse. Anyway. This is a 7,000 acre lake with three feet high water. Do the math. Yeah. One lake, by three feet. And it's draining that way. All the lakes up here are two feet high. That's a lot of water. All right. Get back to fishing here. They're not jumping in the boat. We got to use use the most common analogy. Later, dude.